hello everyone that heading suggests that i have to talk about only two ingredients which makes the major difference in new shoots and budding up rose plant earlier i have given one video regarding what we have to feed after pruning up roses that in that video i have discussed about we have to give nitrogen rich fertilizer after pruning and uh, i will also share uh, that feeding chart here uh, uh, after uh, pruning uh, so that uh, you can understand what we, you have to do for feeding the roses and uh, that schedule we have to maintain uh, when we are doing rose gardening particularly in potted roses for proper growth of the rose plant here you can see the chart uh, uh, second and third october i have done pruning then i have given dap then ammonium sulfate plus micronutrient then insecticide then i have to maintain ph and again i have maintained ph after 5 days then after 10 days i have again maintained ph this ph maintenance is very essential at the just before the budding stage uh, so that uh, plants bear most of the bud for maximum flower and professional growers they are maintaining their ph of the media 5.8 to 6 that produces maximum number of buds and blooms so you have seen that in one potted roses you they are uh, taking 50 to 100 or 150 flowers so they are doing certain thing and one of the thing is ph maintenance but it should not be given in the early stage just before the budding stage for uh, ph maintenance i am using professional uh, this hydroponic solution uh, and it is very powerful and uh, for that you have to measure ph either probe or uh, this ph meter is required in the feeding chart uh, you can see i have used uh, once chemical fungicide and uh, chemical insecticide and uh, reason is that uh, any of the disease burden which is uh, not controlled by any organic fungicide or uh, organic uh, insecticide that will be cleared after pruning and then i will never use uh, this uh, chemical fungicide and insecticide uh, this season that ph maintenance is one thing i have done so far and uh, second thing is a new product in the market it is called nano dap not nano urea nano dap npk is 860 and uh, foliar spray is very effective i have seen and you can see that foliage is very big large and uh, size is perfectly rounded if you are using pgr then that rounded shape you will not get and your uh, plants leaves may be distorted and it will be uh, like a slightly longer side and not rounded so avoid using any of the pgr instead you use seaweed that would be give better result so and uh, after uh, spraying this nano dap i have seen lot of uh, blind shoots again sprouted from uh, top that is uh, new to me and uh, i feel that is very amazing and uh, uh, better product uh, if you can manage you have to experience it and use it 
otherwise uh, your regular NPK is uh, sufficient. This DAP is nano in size, so plant stomata available on uh, leaf surface better absorb these tiny particles than other NPK. So better growth you will get, I feel. After maintaining pH, you will see amazing result within 3 to 4 days. And you will certainly appreciate that uh, plant need slightly acidic medium. I will also share uh, link to the uh, um, feeding video uh, just after pruning and uh, that pH maintenance video is also there. You will get it uh, at the end link or end of the video. Thank you friends. That's all for today. We will meet again.